Well, I've made the case, and you know, and you can go the environmental steward angle. I think there's a lot of people in New Hampshire who are excellent environmental. And their their husbands are their environment. They they own their land. They care for their land. They do right by their land for the most part, uh, without any influence from government. But I have always ascertained the idea that, uh, or at least um, kind of carry it around with me like a big bag of heavy water. <laughs> <laughs> that that uh, this is a broad-based tax because everybody pays it. Yes. Uh, and I've also made the case that because the taxing power has been delegated to Reggie, Reggie was yes. essentially able to raise and lower the tax on people in New Hampshire, basically, because they pay the rate that goes up or down based on the carbon tax. Uh, and no New Hampshire elected official would ever have to vote for that tax, whether it went up or down. Right, and you guys know me. I, I'm a guy that I essentially want to eliminate jail car, which is one of our one of the opportunities the legislature has to institute fees, fines, penalties, and assessments. I think every single tax, fee, fine, penalty, and assessment needs to be voted on by the legislature in every single case. And we would agree with you because what we've seen and what we write about a lot, Andy, and I want you to comment on this a little bit more. We seem to be moving towards that progressive state, the administrative state, where unelected, unaccountable bureaucrats from the very lowest to the very highest are making decisions about how we live our lives without our legislators. That is the only way that we can decide is government doing the right thing or not. And when it's being made by other people inside government, other than our legislators, that's a bad thing. And my question is, do you think, do you also agree or disagree with that? And plus or minus, give us thoughts about either to enhance it, make it, let them do more of that, or if it's a minus, how do you get them to stop? You know, when, when we started this conversation, it was, why are you coming back? And this is one of those reasons. We have to remember that we, uh, we need to be diligent as taxpayers. And today, right this second, I'm obviously taking off my state center hat. We need to be diligent as taxpayers to hold our legislative elected officials, hold them to the standard that they promised and pledged to us. And if they promise not to raise our cost of living, then we have that right to elect them out of office. But at the same time, in the same token, where we're struggling is with the 68 separate state agencies the state of New Hampshire has today. It's the executive branch and the administrators and the agency heads that continue to increase the burdens, financial and regulatory, on all of us as taxpayers, from business owners to, to individual property owners, they become as much of a threat to our future as just bad legislators that vote to raise taxes themselves. Crook TV.